Have you ever cannonballed into the pool? Whoa! When your body hits the water, you make an explosive splash. Anyone nearby gets soaked. In fact, the force of your impact sends ripples in every direction until they fill the whole pool. When you make waves, you change things. And that's not just true inside the pool. You can make waves everywhere you go instead of a wild jump. You change things with your attitude, with the way you respond to tough situations. You make waves when you invite the kid everyone thinks is different to your birthday party. And when you choose to cheer for your teammates from the bench, even with a sprained ankle. Goal! You make waves when you help two squabbling friends remember the things they love about each other. And when you take a deep breath and smile as your little brother asks you to play the happy little train game for the 24th time. Come on! It's not always easy to choose love, joy, peace, and patience. But with the power of God's spirit, you can dive in and make waves. God's love inside you can change the world around you, and others will see God at work in you. That's why making waves is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Ah! Hey, buddy. You ready to... Wow. Yeah, I'm almost ready. I just, I'm just finishing up the sunscreen. You think you got enough? <laughs> I, I thought so. Do you think I need more? No, you're good. No, oh, okay. I just gotta get. Oh, <laughs> gotta get this hand. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, oh, oops. <laughs> gotta get this hand. It's a little slippery. Wait, 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 wait. You want me to help um, you? Yeah. Out there? You, here. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Oops. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Uh, I'm, you want me to carry something? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Here, take this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Here you go. Great. Sorry. Oh, whoa. Sorry. I, no, sorry. I really, I got this one. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> it's my hands are slippery. I. J I have no shot. You know what? I think I can handle it. Yeah. All right, so we're we're leaving. Yeah, let's All go. Right. Great. Woo! Did you put sunscreen on the bottom of your feet? Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon, and I'm John. And welcome to the, the So and So Show. Show. Tell them what month it is, John. Oh, it's June. That's right. And John loves June. June, John, June, June, John, Junie, Johnny, Johnny, June. It's June. Yeah! Whoa there. What? Too much? Yeah. Okay. But uh, seriously, I do love June. Uh, summer is definitely here. Beach, catching the waves, uh, pool parties. Playing in sprinklers. All great things, but yeah. you know what I love about summer? What? Well, here in America, we call it our national pastime. Hot dog eating contest! No. Pizza eating contest! Still, no. Our national pastime. Pie eating contest. No, it has nothing to do with food. Baseball! Baseball is our national pastime? Yes, and here to talk about it is someone who knows stuff. Yeah! Hey, come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Take a seat. Uh, who are you and what do you know? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, Jerry. I'm a baseball umpire. Oh, well, hey. Hey. What? Hey. <laughs> yeah. 
I get that a lot. Uh, but you didn't even do anything. Well, it's a pretty unlovable job. Huh. And who is that person dressed up like a llama who came in here? That's, uh, that's Lorenzo. He's the mascot. It's kind of rude. Well, he just keeps the fans laughing, uh, even if it's, you know, sometimes at my expense. It's all in good fun. Huh. Yeah, but it still must be hard to get booed all the time. Well, sure. I mean, okay, here's the deal. If I make a good call, it never gets noticed. But if I make a bad call or even a close call that maybe doesn't go your team's way, well, then some people can be, well, they can say some pretty mean things. Like what? Yeah, well, just watch this. <clears throat> uh -huh. Strike three! Yeah! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. No, that's 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 a pretty good one. <laughs> Whoa! So, so if people can be so mean to you, why do you want to be an umpire? Well, I I love the game. I mean, I love the players. I love the fans. I I even love Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. This guy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a guy. Oh, well, yeah. I have to admit, Jerry, you have an incredible attitude about this. Yeah, I don't know if I could do it. Yeah, I don't need. Whoa. Go. You're out of here! What? I call him like I, I call him like I see him, Lorenzo. What, what, what are you? Are you kidding? You were out by a mile. What are you doing? What? What? Uh, glasses? I don't need glasses! Well, yes, I do need glasses because I'm wearing them right now because without them, I can't see anything. Plenty of people need glasses. That's why I can see you are out because I'm wearing glasses. What? Uh, oh, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. No, I'm not crying at all. I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> Man, how do you do it? I... Uh, I, I think it's important to remember that everyone at the game plays a part, mm -hmm. right? I mean, like, uh, the, the popcorn seller's there to keep the fans fed. The players are there to compete, to entertain. The fans are there to cheer, to have fun, and to see some amazing plays. Mm -hmm. And I'm there to make sure the game is played fair. I mean, deep down, I think that's really what everyone wants. We all play a part to show how much we care about the game mm -hmm. and about each other. <laughs> it's kind of like the wave, right? If, if only a handful of people did it, it would just be, well, it would just be random people standing up and down. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the demonstration, uh, Lorenzo. <laughs> but, but when everyone plays a part. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Whoa! It makes something pretty cool. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know what? Thanks for coming on the show today, Jerry. Of course. Hey. Uh, um, oh, wait. Um, so right here. Hey, I've got a couple tickets to the game later. If you oh, guys wow. Want to come. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yeah. You bet. Your thing. Hey, take care. All right. Bye. bye. He's out of here. He is. <laughs> what? What? No, no. He literally left. He's gone. He's really out of here. Don't do that. That's my ad. What are you... I, I, he, we're not even playing a game right now. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Why, why are you kicking dirt? This is a wood floor. <laughs> Kellen. What is up, good people? Not much. You got a story for us today? Absolutely. Well, then take it away. Our story today comes from 1 John chapter 4, verses 9 through 13. And it tells us a little bit about God's love. But really, the story starts way before that, near the beginning. God created the world and it was good. But something happened between God and humans that separated us. People broke God's rules. Now, thankfully, God had a plan to fix that broken relationship. God did that by sending us Jesus. And that's what John was writing about. He wrote, here is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world. He sent him so we could receive life through him. Here is what love is. It is not that we loved God. It is that he loved us and sent his son 
to give his life to pay for our sins. That, my friends, is something to cheer about. And to demonstrate that, here are my good friends, Jackie and Dee Dee, the cheer squad. Hey, hey Kellen. You ready, Dee Dee? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I got a question for you. Okay, what's that? Do you know how much God loves us? Oh, it's so much! We know, we know, our God, our God, loves us like what? Our door, our door to God, to God, will never be shut. We know, we know, our God, our God, gave us the one, his one and only, only, one and only son. Woo! Yeah! God gave us his one and only son, Jesus, who gave his life to bring us back to God. When we trust in Jesus, we can have a relationship with God that lasts forever. That's how much God loves us. But listen to what John wrote next. Dear friends, since God loved us this much, we should also love one another. You ladies got a cheer for that? Huh? Oh, yeah, you know we do, Kellen. Hey, Jackie. What's that, Dee Dee? You know, just sometimes it's hard to care for others. Oh, what are we gonna do about that? Jackie, you already know. L-O-V-E, that's what we must do. Because of what God's done, we should love you too. L-O-V-E, that's what we must do. When we love each other, our hearts are made new. L-O-V-E, that's right, the word is love. We can show the world we care just like the Lord above. L-O-V-E, that's what we must do. Because of what God has done, we should love you too. I love that. If God loved us so much by giving us Jesus, then we can find a way to love one another. Here's the last part. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us. His love is made complete in us. Here's how we know that we are joined to him and he to us. He has given us his Holy Spirit. John wrote that no one has ever seen God. But when God's spirit lives in us, we're able to show God's love to others. What you got for that cheer squad? We got something really good, Kellen. You tell him, sis. You ready to bring this home, Dee Dee? Oh, I thought you never asked. Let's do this. It's true, God's spirit reminds you and me. God lives inside us, setting us free. It's true, God's spirit reminds you and me. When we love one another, God's love is complete. When God sent Jesus, his love came to stay. Now his spirit helps us to love the same way. It's true, God's spirit reminds you and me. When we love one another, God's love is complete. Woo! Amazing. Thanks, cheer squad. Yeah, thanks. That was great. One big way God showed his love for us was by sending Jesus. And that's why we get to show God's love when we care for others. And the more we show God's love, the more his love will spread, creating a wave of love. Whoa! <laughs> thanks, Kellen. See you next time. Wouldn't miss it. Later. You know, love is an easy thing to talk about. Oh, yeah. I, I say I love a lot of things, like uh, pizza and my Dryerland collection and soccer. But what does it mean to really love others? Uh, well, I think God gave us a pretty good example, so reveal the question. Hmm. How can you love others like God does? Yes. Ah, uh, that's, that's good and uh, tough, but yeah, good. Yeah, because God is he's God. <laughs> yeah. So he's, Ah, uh, oh, but, but, but remember, we have God's Spirit living inside us. Yeah, and the Holy Spirit can help us to love like God. Right, right, right. You, you can love someone by doing something kind for them. Yeah, you can love someone by giving up something that you want. You can show love to people who are different from you, or even people who maybe get on your nerves a little bit. Yeah, talk about it together. How can you love others like God? Well, hey, that's all the time we have for today. Oh, that's right, because we, we have to get to the baseball game. That's right. We're going to go cheer on Jerry the umpire. All so right. we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Whoa. Whoa. That was a reverse. <laughs>
Wait. Uh, well, that no, was not crazy. if we were going that way. Uh, okay. Oh, I mean, yeah! Boy, Another I mean, great call, Jerry! Way beyond the base. No! After the ball? I'm not supposed to be trying to Oh, that's right. Hey! Good effort! Yeah! You know what? Uh, the one thing I know about baseball fans is they just like effort, not accuracy. You know what, Spal? These prices for popcorn, but, yeah. but not your calls. Yeah, and the pigeons on the third deck. They're foul. <laughs> <laughs>